1996, Woody Allen, Radio Leo. And for Bree Radio, Mitch. In the kitchen? In the fridge? I think so. Two Genesis 4212 C4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 35 36 37 38 Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob went on to a film. Why do you see one upon the another? Why do you look around one another? And he said, Behold, I have heard there is corn in Egypt. Get down hither and buy us for us from them that we may live and not die. Then cleanness of seeing the Jesus of Chevrolet knocked for the Amanda. That we may live and not die. And Joseph sent bread and went down to buy corn from in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob said not that the, his brother, he said, let's peradventure Mr. he swallows him. Eventualiness, eventualiness, her eventualiness, eventualiness. Jesus, my father, my father, Amanda, her adventurous, and the sons, and the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came for uh, the famine was in the land of Canaan, and jo that I think that's probably Africa and Joseph was the governor of all the land. I love it. Thank God for Christ and the governors to do. And Joseph was the governor of all the land and, and, and he it was sold to all the people of the land and Joseph's brethren came and bowed themselves before him and their with their faces to the earth. And Joseph said saw his brethren and he knew them but made himself strange unto them and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, When come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they did not know him. They knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed unto them, and said unto them, Ye are spies to see the nakedness of this land. Ye are come. Nakedness, naked, nakedness. Not the man of Christ, Melchizedek. Nakedness, Christ, and the not the man, the, and the land ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's sons, we are true men, that thy servants are no thighs. And I'm having, and I'm also going to write this in my story, the certain kind of, we, we are one woman's daughters, we are true women, true ladies, thy servants are no thighs. But that's not the Bible. We are all one man's sons. We are true men. Thy servants are no five. And he said unto them, Nay, but you come to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. 
And they said, thy, thy, thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan, and behold, the youngest is, is, is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That is th that I speak unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved by the life of Pharaoh, ye shall not go forth thence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you, or else the life of Pharaoh, surely you are spies. And he, he put themselves all together into the war the three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do, and live, for I fear God. If ye are true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye carry corn to the famine of, uh, of, the, of the famine of your houses. But bring your youngest brother unto me, so your words will be ver verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one or another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, and that we saw the anguish of his soul when we besought us, and we did not hear. Therefore, is the stress going upon us? And Reuben said, and Reuben answered him, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye would not hear. Therefore, behold, all also his blood is required. And they knew not Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself from them and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon and bound him before their eyes. And then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and restore every man's money into a sack and give them provisions for the way, and thus he did for them. Provisionally, Athena, Jesus, and the not the man of pugilism, Yahshua, Christ. They laid it their A S S E S with the corn and departed them. As and as one of them opened a sack to, to give his A.S. provider in the end, he espied his money for, behold, it was in the sack's mouth. And he said unto to the brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one another, What is it that God has done unto us? And they came unto the brethren, their father, and unto the land of Canaan, and told them all that befell them. And, and the man who was the lord of the land spoke roughly to us and took us for spies of the country. And we said unto them, We are human, we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the younger is this day with our father in the land. And the man of the lord of the country said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave your, one of your brethren here with me and take your food for the famine of your households and be gone and bring your youngest brother unto me then shall I know that ye are spies but I like to write a story like this would, would, would it be in all women though I'm working on that too and, the, and, and bring your youngest brother unto me that then shall I know that ye are no spies but ye are true men so I will deliver you your brother and ye shall traffic in the land and it came to pass that as they emptied their sacks that behold every man's bundle of money was in his hat in his sack and when both they and their father saw the bundle of the money they were afraid and Jacob said if I said and meet me as ye read of my children Joseph is not and Simeon is not and ye will take Benjamin away from me all these things are against me and Reuben said unto the father saying slay my two sons I, if I bring him not to thee deliver him into the end of my hand and I will bring him to thee again and he said my son shall not go down for, this, for his brother is dead and is left alone if mischief befall him by the way in which he goes then you shall bring down my gray hair with sorrow upon, my, upon the, to the grave
I dedicate this this reading to to the Leah Radio Show and then the New York Sport and Fitness.